Influencers on social media started the trend, then everyone got on board. People trespassing on private property to take sunflower photos right here in Colorado, sometimes even driving their cars into the field. Brian Wendland spoke to someone trying to give influencers a safe spot for their sunflower photo fix. It's the end of summer and sunflowers are trending. Who doesn't want a picture with all these beautiful little sunnies in the background? They are iconic. The perfect backdrop for a viral TikTok. It's actually kind of unusual that before noon we don't have other folks out here. But Jennifer Tucker says that popularity is a problem for Adams County farmers. So one of our Adams County producers had to hire and have two Adams County Sheriff's deputies stand guard basically of his field. They, they, they were on rotation keeping folks out of his field. So with a little prodding from a county commissioner and a little help from CSU Extension, Tucker and company have grown a public sunflower field at the Riverdale Animal Shelter. And I think that's probably the big key thing here is, is we get to bring a little taste of, of the beauty that we have out on the plains. Um, right here into town. Eventually, Tucker hopes to have more fields spread around the county, but right now, getting anyone to take a photo here instead of trespassing is a win. If we can just take a little bit of the stress off the farmers that have the trespass problems, it'll be huge. She doesn't blame anyone for wanting to capture this beauty. It's been pretty darn popular. Social media has run with it. But now, there are no excuses. You don't need to ruin a farmer's field to get internet famous. You just have to come to this public plot of paradise. Well, a similar situation happened a couple years ago in California with the poppy fields out there. Sunflowers don't last forever, though. You've probably got another couple of weeks for your photo shoot. Once they've lost their luster, the sunflowers will go into their dieback phase. Then they'll be harvested with the Colorado Master Gardeners program and turned into bird seed or sunflower oil.